welcome to this third discussion or the third topic on the chapter on whole numbers. In this, I'm going to introduce to you a concept of a number line. Now, uh, let's quickly first go through the topic that I'm going to cover in this. So, what we will be discussing here is the first thing that we discuss is the concept of a number line. Concept of a number line. That is what I mean. What 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 do we mean by a number line? And when I say number line, I'll be mainly focusing on the whole numbers, the number line for whole number. That is what I will be focusing on. Then the second topic would be the properties. We will just have a look at the properties of the number line. Properties of the number line. And then what we will be doing is we will do some mathematical operations. mathematical operations using the number line. And in this specifically I'll be covering three operations that is addition, subtraction and multiplication. I'm not covering division here and multiplication. So having said that, now let's have a look at what is a number line. Now let's do one thing. What I'll be doing here is we just draw a line from this point. Okay, uh, this is not coming straight. So let me just, uh, yeah, so we just select this point here and then we draw a straight line till here and next what we do is I will be representing the numbers on this line and how to do that what I'll be doing is I'll, I'll just write the numbers from here so I, I assume that this is a number line for the whole numbers so our first number starts with a zero here then after one unit distance that is just this one square here at this point I'll write 1 then we can write 2 3 4 5 6 9 10 and so on we can just keep on writing and this line like kind of continues ahead so this is so now this representation of whole numbers on a line drawn like this is what we call as a number line. This is a number line. Now let us just try to understand a few of the properties of this number line. Now the first thing you see is that the distance between any two adjacent numbers that is side by side. So in this example if we take uh, let's say the number 2 and 3. The distance between them is exactly one unit. That is the one unit is this one square here. It depends on, on what scale you have drawn. If this is one centimeter then each and every number, I mean two numbers will be apart by one centimeter. It depends on what is the size. In this case, in our case, it is just equal to this width here which is equal to the side of the square in this graph paper. Uh, similarly, you can take any other two numbers, 6 and 7. Again, the distance between these two is going to be one unit. Right? So, so, so the numbers, two adjacent numbers between a number line are separated by one unit. So, this is the first property. distance between two adjacent numbers is one unit. 
let's have a look at the second property now if you just have let, let's first take any number let's say that we take this number 9 here now if I see the number towards the right hand side of 9 10 11 12 and so on so the numbers to the right hand side are greater than the number 9 and if I traverse backward from this number 9 right then all the numbers are smaller than 9 8 7 6 5 and so on so this is the another property so numbers on right side of a number are greater than the selected number and those on left side are smaller than the selected number than the selected number now do we see any other property well that's that's pretty much it so I mean and, and it's possible for us to find I mean verify all the properties of whole numbers from this number line for example if you have a number 9 then it has this is this will be a successor this will be its predecessor however the rule that we had is 0 0 only has a successor and doesn't have a predecessor so that property also can be verified here so now this was about the number line and the three observations that we see for the number line now let us try to have a look at mathematical operations I mean what mathematical operations can we do on the number line so 